What is going on, right today? We are back with brand new WWE action figure news, man. And my God in heaven today. Oh, my Lord. I saw this on Twitter, man. I, I had to make a video about it because I think that's... It's like it's like every damn time I turn around, man, it seems like there is another just mind-boggling either decision or weird thing going on with this WWE action figure line that we love to collect. And I had to get on here and chat about it and just talk about everything, man. But I found this on Twitter. I did see this on Twitter, and it kind of blew me away a little bit in, in some different ways. We'll get into it, man. But I saw this going around. I think it was on a Facebook group, and then it was over on Twitter. There were some different things going on, man, but we have to discuss this, man. It is going to be the next WWE Elite Greatest Hits Wave. Now, we have discussed this, but we didn't know what the figures were, okay? We did not know what the figures were, and I don't think this has been officially announced by Mattel itself or Ringside Collectibles or anything like that. So this isn't anything that's been posted just yet, but I know, I mean, I know the people in the video, but I know when this is shared to social media, when this is shared to Instagram, whenever Ringside Collectibles decides to share about it or post about it on their socials. I know the comment section is going to be eating this up. So today we're talking about WWE Elite Greatest Hits Series 5. Now this is the set that's going to feature Dominic Mysterio, LA Knight, Roman Reigns, and Seth Rollins. And you're probably like, I remember, just, I want to say it was like a week ago, maybe, maybe not even a week. We talked about this wave and we were kind of discussing what the figures might be. We figured that Roman Reigns would probably just be a re-release and different stuff like that. And remember, I even looked at the image. Remember, I looked at the image of the Seth Rollins, didn't I? And I said, I hope to God it's not that. Well, Brad, hate to tell you, but this is the figures we have here today. We have Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Dominic Mysterio, and LA Knight. And every single one of these greatest hits figures are recently released WWE Elite Action figures, man. Now, you can't make this up. You cannot make this up. It's almost, and we're going to get into all of my thoughts on this. We're going to dive into every single thing, but let's just break down the figure, man. Starting out first with Roman Reigns. This is the Elite 110 Roman Reigns, which we've already seen. And I'm pretty sure I could could be tripping, man, but is this not the, like, Wave 5 of the top picks or the 2025 top picks Wave 1? Is that not the exact same figure that this is? It is, isn't it? It's the exact same one, and not to mention the top picks Seth Rollins is the one with the Daniel Bryan torso, right? And then the other top picks 2025 Wave 1 figure is gonna be the Jey Uso, the main event Jey Uso, which is a good figure, so at least we get one figure out of the set, but we're not even talking about that today. We're just talking about the Greatest Hit Series number 5 that's coming, and we have to just talk about this, man. We have to talk about this, but it's it's just so weird because Greatest Hit Series 5 is this Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins and Dominic Mysterio and LA Knight wave, and then Greatest Hit Series 6 is the wave that features, you know, the throwback Cody with the mask and the John Cena and the Shield Roman and the Miz and that new Greatest Hits wave that's coming. So it's almost like they're alternating between re-releasing the exact same figures and then upgrading previously released figures. So we'll get into that as we discuss it and talk about everything, man, but this is what we're dealing with, man. So it looks like this upcoming Greatest Hits Wave Series number 5 is going to be recently released figures, almost as if it's another Top Picks Wave. And you guys just heard, I've already discussed that we're already getting a Top Picks Wave, and it's kind of mind-boggling because we've been on this notion that Mattel is re-releasing a lot of the same figures. There's many, 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 many. There are a lot of them. There are a lot of re-release waves coming from Mattel right now on top of everything else. So you do have the Greatest Hits Wave, which we've touched on before. You have the Top Picks Wave, which is essentially a re-release wave, but now it's like the Greatest Hits Wave is a Top Picks re-release wave, which is like a double down of a re-release wave. And not to mention the From the Vault series, you're not getting into the Legends Greatest Hits series, and you're not even getting into the Best of Monday Night War set that is also coming. So... It is just crazy how we are getting the same exact figures. Let's dive back into the figures real quick, man. So Roman Reigns was the first one. We do have Seth Rollins here, which is going to be the Elite 109 Seth Rollins, which is weird because Elite 109, I have seen it at retail multiple times, and I know we're up to Elite 112, 113 now. Elite 113 hasn't hit yet. Elite 112 has hit. It should be hitting retail probably in the next month or so. But this Seth Rollins just recently released. The Dominic Mysterio in this wave is going to be the damn... The Dominic Mysterio is also from Elite 109. So you're getting two Elite 109 figures, one Elite 108 figure, and an Elite 110. So Dominic and Seth Rollins are going to be their Elite 109 figures. And then LA Knight is going to be his Elite 108 figure. And it's the exact same as it was, man. So no updated head sculpt, no different gear, no anything. 
And I, I think it's crazy how this happens. Now, I know they obviously know the ins and outs of the business. It is a business at the end of the day. Obviously, you're going to get re-releases. And I think everybody kind of understands that, right? Everybody kind of understands that we're going to get re-releases. It's kind of part of the deal. Jax did it back in the day. People are going to continue to do it. It's going to be a thing that, that happens. It's just we are going to get re-release waves. It's just the way of the world. It is a business at the end of the day. It's what they're going to do. It's what they're going to give us, which completely makes sense in a certain way, in a certain fact, duh. That makes sense, right? But another way to look at it is how many times can they do this? But another fact is how many re-release waves are we going to get? And it just seems like the greatest hits line was made for figures that were very sought after from previous releases, not figures that are top picks, which is what the top picks wave is. So I think that it's just a very odd wave to throw in there. It's, it's I, I don't know, it's just a weird thing. I, I would like to know the maybe the reasoning why or what their thought process is. I definitely trust their thought process because they they definitely know I mean they work for the company they're behind the scenes they know what's going on there but it's just another thing I just think it's very odd I, I gotta know what the community is thinking about this because I thought it was completely insane to see this as a greatest hits wave and it being I mean it's essentially this is like top picks 2.0 is what this is and it's weird that it flip-flops because the like I said the next greatest hits wave is that wave with the John Cena the Cody Rose, the Miz that is coming down the line. So is this going to be a situation where they alter back and forth or they flip-flop back and forth between, oh yeah, we're going to get recently released figures and then we're going to go back and give you th some throwback figures. And then the next line, we're going to go back to figures that were just released not too long ago. And then the next wave, we're going to come right back to throwing it all the way back. So that's just a crazy thing to think about, man. I just thought that was absolutely insane to touch on between the top picks and the greatest hits here. But I mean, obviously Dominic Mysterio Mysterio, he is a top pick. You know, he's very popular. He's very uber popular in the year of 2024. LA Knight, again, very, very popular current superstar. Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, they all write themselves. All of these superstars are your top picks, but it's just weird that they would include these in the greatest hits wave and not do throwback figures. But we kind of figured when it was Dominic and when it was LA Knight, we fig like Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns are the only guys that have been around that long in this wave that could be a previously released figure like we've like we're even seeing in the next greatest hits wave in greatest hits series six the roman reigns is a shield roman reigns right and he's been around since you know early on in the mattel days of of creating wwe action figures seth rollins same thing right you don't really question seth rollins being in a greatest hits wave because first of all he's been in a previously released greatest hits wave he was in the shield in the shield year there and then we knew that you know he has a bunch of great figures he was in another greatest hits wave he's been in two different greatest hits waves now a third when you talk about the cash in Toys R Us exclusive that had the previously done formula and then you know people have talked about oh can you upgrade the formula and they said no and then for they they redo AJ Styles and then boom you get AJ Styles so you would think in this wave you're like oh I see Seth Rollins in the greatest hits wave oh it's going to be Elite 45 oh it's going to be this one it's going to be that one and no Brad it's going to be actually the Elite 109 the one that just released yesterday so I don't know man just uh I know that for a lot of people they probably some people won't care obviously which is fine which I have like a mixed emotion about it I'm on both sides of the fence I think I think I'm straddling the fence here because I see it as a guy that likes to collect a lot of different attires. I think it's a missed opportunity to just do a repaint and re release it as greatest hits, similar to what they did with Randy Orton, right? Like they did his Elite 90 figure, Elite 91 figure. Remember, they, they said that that was a greatest hit. That was not a greatest hits figure. That figure never existed. They just repainted it into a black and silver and made it look exactly like the, you know, the white and red attire. It was just a repaint of the figure. AJ Styles, it was the previously released Elite 74 AJ Styles, but they did upgrade the torso and upgraded the formula, but it still had the same attire, and then you had the Hulk Hogan in that wave, and then the Rey Mysterio was a straight-up re-release of his WrestleMania 2-pack with Samoa Joe. So it's there's not really a ton of consistency here, man. Not a ton of consistency. I think it's just you know, what they can kind of fit in where, and, you know, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, and maybe sometimes they have to kind of not necessarily bend the rules here, but they're kind of changing things around to kind of, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how that works out. That's why I'm completely confused looking at this Greatest Hits wave, and I would have to go back and look at, I know the first Greatest Hits wave. Let me, hold on, let me Google this shit show, just so my mind serves me correctly. The Greatest Hits series number, like, top picks were used to this, right? Top picks 
we completely understand what they're doing there. But when you Google WWE Elite Grizz, says, let me get in here and see. So I know that one of the first waves, it was the Rikishi, Rey Mysterio, Rock, Jake the Snake, Bam Bam Bigelow, and Undertaker. Then we had the Shawn Michaels, DDP, Undertaker, Seth Rollins, King Harley Race, and Batista. Then I think it was the Earthquake and Typhoon wave with The Rock as the Scorpion King and Rollins and R-Truth and John Nada Piper and Beefcake. And then I think Series 4, wasn't it? It was the Rey Mysterio wave. So this is Series 5. So this one just comes out of nowhere, man, because no other lines, the pre the previously done Greatest Hits lines, were all re-releases. They were all re-releases besides maybe one or two that were repainted, like the Roman, like the, not the Roman Reigns, but the Randy Orton was kind of a redo, and then the AJ Styles technically wasn't really that. And I, I know they kind of played around with some different things there, but now it's just, what in the world is this wave? It's just a complete, it's like, it's like they pumped this wave out, and they were like, oh, that's supposed to be top picks. It's like, oh, I put Greatest Hits on it and it's like oh it's all out now i don't know i don't know what the hell to think of this but i had to get on here i had to talk about it because i thought it was crazy I, I i don't know i don't know what to think anymore i think it's kind of crazy though greatest hits is now top picks and top picks is, is kind of greatest hits now and they're all kind of merging into one here are we going to see this continue forward definitely would like to know what they're thinking there but i'm sure when this is posted up to you know to instagram and stuff i want to know what your thoughts are down below but i know that some a lot of people are not going to be excited about this they're going to be you know, talking about how this isn't a previously released figure and all that, but you kind of had to see the writing on the wall because releasing LA Knight and Dominic Mysterio, when they put up the pre-order, it's like, what the hell could this be? Are they going to redo the Build-A-Figure Dominic? Are they going to do his first figure redone in the right skin tone? Like, what are we thinking here? LA Knight, he only has one Elite besides the Defining Moments that's coming. That's not even out yet, so how would you even do that? How's that a... How is that a greatest hits when it hasn't even released yet? And then the Ultimate Edition is an Ultimate. That wouldn't even fit in this line. And so it's like, oh, that has to be a repaint of the Elite 108. But it's not a repaint, Brad. It's the legit same exact figure. So I don't know what the hell's going on, man. I don't know what's going on. You can let me know, though. I'd like to know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. But I think that is going to wrap up today's news video, man. Let me know what your thoughts are on this Greatest Hits Top Picks debacle. What are you feeling there? I know a lot of people love the Greatest Hits line. I think they love it when it's previously released figures. But how about some figures that just came out yesterday? What are you thinking on that? What do you think about that? Do you think these guys are greatest hits? Or do you think uh, this should have been another top pick style wave? What are we feeling, man? Let me know all those things. But I'm getting the hell out, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts again down below. Huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate you fellas so very much for your continued support. I'm getting the hell out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.